Hi, it's Joni. Um, so I did have one more haul. I forgot about um, this little trip into Hobby Lobby. And um, so I'll show you what I got there because um, I was talking about in my Joanne's haul that, um, is it Joanne's? No, Michael's haul, they were selling the um, Distress crayons for what did I say, $17.99 or $18.99? And at Hobby Lobby, regular price was $12.99. And I'm not sure if the cashier was correct or not in giving me this 50 off, but she gave me this 50 off without a coupon because she said this week was the paper blowout. And she was including this in the sale for the paper blowout. So I really made out well on these. So these ended up coming out to $7.50 without a coupon. So um, that was a really good buy. And um, yeah, I, the tin I got. So now I can add more to my tin that I got from Tuesday morning. And that'll hold a lot. Um, I also got, because these are made by Stamp Abilities and they were on sale half off. Um, I got these background blocks that are normally $10. I got them each for $5. Now, if you remember, I got really cheap ones at AC Moore a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago. Um, so I don't think I'm going to see those prices again. But for $5, I thought that this was a good deal. Um, I love this. It's the cursive writing. And like I can't even make out what it says with or without my glasses but um, it's just like you know old writing um, and I think this will look great in mixed media and this I love um, because I you know I think of my husband when I see this um, I can read sheet music basic you know not too advanced because um, I took um, some piano lessons but my husband he is a musician he played in a band in his youth and he can play limited amount of piano too but um, he was a drummer so um, yeah this this will be a good one even for a background on a card for him because he is a music lover through and through so I was really really jazzed to get these because um, I think they're so pretty and um, I you know the, the flowers made by um, the paper studio they were on sale also so I got a bunch of flowers each of these I believe each of them were the same price they were $2.50 each so um, I got these I like the white ones because you can spray them you know or you know stain them and make them any color you want. So um, I was really happy to get these. These are, they all say poppies, papery. So I don't know what kind of flower it is. Maybe a peony. And there are a bunch in there. There's six large ones, two medium ones, and six small ones in there. So that was good value. And this I just thought would look so pretty, an embellishment on something mixed media. You know with and it has the white flower so again you can stain those to whatever color matches your background and you can make yourself a nice wreath out of that with the you know the vine um, that, that, that comes with it and these are just such a nice bright pop of color and I thought you got a decent amount for the money and then these there's a lot in here and they um, all have little gems little rhinestones in the middle but look at how many come in that I and mean, there's a lot so um, you know nice medium-sized ones to small ones oh you know and I wanted to tell you because I got these at Joann's so this is as an aside um, they had their flowers were 70% off so I picked these up because although they're not paper flowers 
they're almost like a paper center and a foam the outer part of it is foam but you can cut these off and use these you know I mean let's do a size comparison I mean they're larger they're probably twice as large as these flowers and yeah ten times as large as those but I could see myself using these and a lot comes on this now this was ten dollars originally um, which I would never pay um, but they're beautiful flowers and I got them for three dollars so just for a little bit more than um, the paper studio flowers I got these large flowers and there's quite a few on here and all these leaves like I definitely could use these leaves for embellishments there's so many leaves on here but it's it just says bush so I don't know what the bush is what kind of bush it is fresh picked spring and it says bush so I'm gonna um, you know take these apart and just put them in my basket, you know, to use for embellishments. And they had other kinds of small flowers, but, you know, just a way of repurposing. They don't have to be in an arrangement, you know, to um, work for us, you know. So I got some, these were spare parts, so these were on sale, these were $2. And, um, this I know you all have seen before it's just I don't have I didn't have until just uh, last week I didn't have a hobby lobby near me so I most of my paper I got from Michaels I like the paper at Hobby Lobby so much more they just have different kind of pads I find that a lot of the pads at Michaels are you know the same kind of theme like pictures of things um you know the ones that they have on sale they're hot buy ones i should say not to say because i i don't buy the 20 dollar pads um this pad was actually 14.99 and um i did get it on sale half off and um so it came out to uh, seven fifty, which is you know a little bit more than we'd pay for the hot buys. I'm gonna do a really quick flip through of it, but I know that you've all seen it before, and probably every one of you have it. But it's new for me. Um, I don't have it, and I just when I opened it up and looked at it, I just fell in love with it. And Okay, so it is the pink passport. I just, this is such a great paper pad. And is this cardstock? No, it's not cardstock, it's paper. And it is um, single sided. But uh, look at that. That would make such a great planner cover, you know, with some other, maybe something written here. Um, let me see how to do this. I know you all have seen this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of your time um, going through it. But pretty colors, girly patterns. Look at those perfume jars. You know, and you could make, cut them up, laminate them, make paper clips out of them. The girls' faces, same thing. You know, that's what I'll do with one of those sheets and I love that there are you know a couple of sheets of each um, look at this oh so pretty like that has to go in a planner you know laminated as a bookmark or something a um, divider or it, it's just so pretty so you can preserve it and have it to look at swans the eyelashes oh <laughs> I love that pattern of flowers there was just so much in this book 
that I like. That's like a scooter. I don't know about that. Um, here we go. The girls again. Look at the... Oh, it's... I am so going to cut some of those out with the green hair and the pink hair. I'm telling you, when I retire, I'm going to go crazy with my hair. Some diamonds, some florals. Yeah, when I retire, I am getting any color hair I want. Oh, let's not forget these beautiful bows. They, and they are beautiful. Um, yeah, I am going to... I did get away with in the past, because you know I'm a nurse, so I, I can't have crazy hair. And, you know, those bright colors, that's crazy hair. When you walk into an old person's house with crazy hair, they're going to look you up and down and not really um, put a lot of faith in you. Alright, so that's that. So yeah, I am going to do whatever color hair I want. Pink, purple, blue, green, I don't care. You know, because that is my time to do what I want with my hair. I did at one time have peanut butter and jelly colored hair. Um, I don't think I was on YouTube then. I had my hair a little darker than this, maybe the color near the top here. And then I had purple streaks in it and it looked so pretty. And we called it peanut butter and jelly. Um, but um, yeah, I. Um, I can wait it out till I retire. I've just got five more years and I am done. Then I can spend my days crafting and doing what I want. My husband will be out in the workshop doing some woodwork, you know, refinishing furniture. Maybe we'll sell at flea markets um, or go to craft fairs or I don't know, but I, I just know it's going to be fun. Um, so, um, that is it. I don't have anything else up my sleeve. Um, and now I'm going to sit and do some crafting. So I hope you guys are finding time this weekend to do some of that as well as all the other obligations that you have. And, um, till next time. Bye.